This is Tony Baca, Senior Vice President of Safety at Berglund Construction Company. And this week's safety talk is on a unique project. What we have here is a swimming pool located on the 44th floor of a skyscraper here in the city. And what's happening with this pool is it's got some blistering and our subcontractor is coming in to degrease this pool and to sandblast this entire pool. So what you're looking at here was all discussed in the pre-construction safety meeting. What we've done as a company is we have demarked the front entrance way to get into this pool so that no owner, client, pedestrians can get in here anymore. It is just our Berglund superintendent and the subcontractor performing the scope inside the swimming pool. So what we have here on the far end, as far as an engineering control, is a couple of negative air machines. And when we turn these on, all of this encasement, our bubble, all the way around us that's been erected and supported with vertical stanchions and horizontal members and supported scaffold systems, it pulls in to achieve a negative air atmosphere. But because it's pulling in, our team had to counterweight the, the scaffolding so it didn't pull that into the swimming pool. But we had to achieve a negative air environment in here so that we don't introduce any of our sandblasting dust or exposures to the owner client building setting off any type of alarms. Truly, truly unique. It's going to be extremely loud in here when they start this sandblasting process, but walking outside the bubble here. I wanted to also show you what we had to do to get away from gas powered equipments. We have compressors, sandblasters, and power units and compressors, all electric, all electric, no gas powered anything in this to, uh, to you know, exhaust any type of a fume odor, anything of that nature. And as you can see, moving all the way around here, look at the prep on the pool deck. Look at the prep for the bubble. This all had to be discussed in the pre-con meeting so we could adjust our costs and understand the vast exposures to the owner client and our guys. As you can see here, we had to really use our imagination and run our negative air machines out these windows here. So a lot of pre-plan and the work hasn't even started yet inside here. This was all just pre-planned, even protecting these windows here. So the exposure inside for for the trades also is the fact that they're gonna be using degreasers. They may have to use full face respirators and charcoal filters, depending on what the SDS calls for. But then when you get to the sandblasting, you're looking at you know the hoods, the proper shields, the face shields, breathing apparatuses, Tyvek suits, all the PPE that's gonna go into it. But you can look at the finishes in here. All this has to be protected from our scope in itself. So this week, let's just talk about engineering controls, how to administer them, and then what exposures will we have to the tradesmen working inside the bubble primarily? And then most importantly, what's our emergency plan? If something out of the ordinary were to happen, needs to be discussed in our morning daily huddles. Let's have a safe day. Let's have a safe week. Thank you.